Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another Legends video and here today we are continuing our little series of, you know, the uh, top units in the game, you know, the best of their each kind, right? So yesterday we did do the best LS, if you do want to go check it out, you know, it's uh, literally the video from yesterday, so you can just click on the channel and it'll be the video right there, right? So uh, today we're going to be going over the best banner units, just normal banner units, right? Like they just dropped and they weren't they didn't have any like special rarity to them they're not an lf they're not a zenkai unit they're, they just came out on the banner and they're just putting their foot down on the meta just the way it is they don't need no upgrades to them they're just dumb now obviously it's five units here because i'm not going to do top 10 because one it'll take me a while to figure it out like the top 10 two it'll be a very very long video and three it's just you know it's it's too much right doing five is just the right amount right it shows you the best of the best which is all on your screens right now and it's literally in the order right but it starts from you know kefla and down to goku black so I mean, between Kefla and Vados, you can also make a case, right, on who is, like, you know, better. And in fact, to be honest, you can make a case for one of them even being above Frieza. But I think this is the best way to put it, right? But obviously, I'm not opposed to switching it around, right? Because anyway, you, you can make a case for having this list anyway, except for the top two units, right? Because those two are just in their own tier. They're above and beyond. They're exceptional. And they'll be very, very good for a long time. So now let's jump in. We have Kefla. Now, Kefla is just this dominant force that we all know. She just, she, she literally steps on the, she steps in the field and just goes crazy. Listen, draw, our card draws speed by one. Every time she uses a strike, by the way, she gets strike damage up. She has blast armor, meaning she could abuse the midfield, right? You can just float with her, wait for somebody to tackle. They could either strike you. Like, either way, you're not a lose. It's not a lose-lose situation, right? The worst case scenario is that, that you both go for a strike and you do a do Dokobaki impact, something like that, you know, right? The strike clash. That's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, you catch him in the tackle. You catch him doing a blast uh, card and you go straight through, right? So... It, it's mainly a win-win with this Kefla man. She's also works as a support unit, right? I'm pretty sure she does extra damage to Goku, which is almost every team in this game might I mention, right? Even them and Goku, she still does bits too. Uh, there's a, let me see. When she dies, she uh, uh, yeah, restores 20% of the damage. She's not that, but 20% of the damage inflicted by Tag Girls and Tag Fusion Warriors or Tag Universe 6 for 25 time it comes. Now, I did just say it's when she dies, but it's not when she dies. But Kefla is dumb. Now, Vados. Vados is my nightmare. Vados, I just, every time I see her on the team, I just want to cry because she's just so good, bro. She is the epitome. Of support units right i never really went in depth with her kit but from what i see from what i fight bro she has card draw speed i'm pretty sure every time she enters the battlefield yep it says right there she has good damage she destroys two cards on a cover change like what does she do what tell me what does she do also restores i like tag god key or tag universe health by 10 percent when she switches out like what is that bro she restores key by 25 and not to mention not to mention her, her, her green card shorten as i substitution count by three reduces enemy key by 40 inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade 100 minus 100 to key recovery from five time accounts like and her main ability restores ally health by 15 30 percent of damage inflicted by allies for 60 counts and cancels attribute downgrades in abnormal conditions like varos is just she's dumb you, you can't convince me that she's not top five units of like, you know, of this, uh, you know, non LF, non Zenkai units. You, you can't convince me she can't make it on this list. Now, Frieza, Frieza, Frieza. This little guy, bro, this, this guy, he is annoying as hell. Like, let's not even. Th this guy, I'm already familiar with him, bro. Every time he hits you with a blast, he takes away what? He uh, reduces key by 50? Oh, it doesn't say it here. Pretty sure it says it's not this one uh this one right applies following on landing a blast art reduces enemy key by 50 and inflicts attribute downgrade minus 30 key i dare say that Vados is a little better than him but he also steals dragon balls right which is literally rising rushes like the key 
like right to most games like you need rising rush but this guy he he either takes a dragon ball and you like you know you uh wait what one or more take one gain one right but if you have none he still gains one which is dumb and then he's like a mega shinron right when you have more dragon balls he does um get stronger right pretty sure it says it yeah yeah right here three to six dragon balls 30 percent of the damage inflicted seven dragon balls 50 percent Frieza is just he's dumb he's he's a very annoying unit to fight he's crazy I love what they did with him you know I wouldn't want to be on the other side though where I'm the one doing what they did with him right and now we have the gods right we, we, we have the gods revival cell let me not even listen revival cell he's just he he's 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 crazy revival cell he literally has a glorified um endurance literally you can sack him off for any rising rush not to mention he uh he shortens his substitution count every time a battle member is hit meaning if someone thinks okay yeah his cell is not back yet meanwhile he's done like a 10 card combo on you you switch into cell right away let him eat that rising rush and you transform for even more devastating power bro Shout out to LT Dirt, by the way, man. Huge supporter, one of the mods on the channel. But it, it's crazy. He he's just dumb at his special move. This this does so much damage. This cell is, is is dumb. He he can make he can be made a case for number one or two. I really don't care how you word it. But for me, I, I just have it this way just cause, right? Because it, it, for me, it doesn't matter. Cell could be number one, Goku Black number two. But both of these units and they can be ran on the same team, bro. Now let's talk about the number one unit that I have, right? Or number two, depends on what you think. It depends on how you feel. Goku freaking black, bro. I'm so glad that I got to pull this guy when he first came out because he was actually like, he was running the meta before. Like, like yeah, there was uh, still LF Gohan and stuff. But I feel like until maybe UI Goku, that's when like, you know, it started simmering down a little bit because the type advantage and all that. He's just dumb. Not to mention, he's a part of God Key when he transforms, which is dumb, by the way. Put base form Goku Black in God Key, please. But he gets God Key after he transforms, which is crazy because you know who else got God Key that's on this list that supports? Yes, yeah, Vados. And they're both green, yeah, but you can run, you can literally run green, green, red, right? Which is Vados, Whis, and this guy. Because, wait, no, not this one. I mean, they're the same thing, but this one. It's like after you transform, you get way more power. Destroys all of your own cards and randomly draws three new ones. Restores own health by 10%. I'm pretty sure he doesn't he restore key too. I thought he restored key, but I guess he doesn't. No, I'm pretty sure he does. Every time I use it, I'm pretty sure he restores. He restores a little bit of key he does. But every time you hit this guy, he reduces your key by five, meaning you can't even get out a full-fledged combo. And there's somewhere here where he uh, when he first transforms. He increases his art draw speed by one. When you use his main ability after transformation, he draws four new cards and gets another art draw speed by one. It's it's like bro, when you get caught in a combo this guy with this guy, and it's like you just have you just have to pray that the guy didn't get a rush yet, which is gonna be a rare situation because of the amount of cards this guy's draw. And he has bleed, hey, you know, that's actually pretty useful because if someone's like at 15k health, right? And then you could just go up and tap them the bleed wool do its damage and stuff and then his the ultimate move also does a lot fierce cut slicer minus 100 percent to enemies sustain damage cut if you activate it right away right pretty sure from like when it comes into your deck also inflicts heavy bleed also has blast armor like what doesn't this guy do i think the only thing he doesn't do is support which he doesn't need if anything he needs the support so he can just go even crazier he doesn't need support he doesn't need the support what he needs is someone to support him because he's godly like that bro and his main ability too, buffing what two two tags, future powerful opponent. Yeah, but that 33. I'm pretty sure it's like 35 at uh 14. But he's just, I th I think he's you know the best. Or it could be Cell, right? But that's the list for me. Th this is it. But we do have some honorable mentions right here. These three units, right? Now I think if it's a case for top 10, these three are definitely there. But I think the only one, actually, I think Topo and Vegeta can make a case for top uh, five too because Vegeta, he's just, he's crazy. He does a lot of damage in the beginning of the match, right? Pretty sure he has a damage reflective buff in the beginning. Um, let me see. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 uh, the following effects from battle, battle start for 15 time accounts. 50% of the damage inflicted and minus 5 to all costs, right? 35% of the damage inflicted by allies cannot be cancelled. Restored ally health tagged Vegeta family or future health by 20% and reduces enemy Dragon Balls by 3 when you kill them. This is just, it's crazy because people usually like sack them off early, right? So when they like, when, when you feel like the enemy has a rising rush, you just sack them off, right? So they can kill him. Or even if they rush him, it's still good because he's restoring uh, health and he's giving you <clears throat> damage inflicted buffs, right? And then uh, he also destroys two of your cards. So if someone pops an ultimate, you can just, you can randomly destroy that, right? If you get lucky or if he only has two cards, right? Uh, uh, like another card and then that ultimate hearts card. And then his main ability shortens ally substitution count by five. Restores key and gives you a special move. It's it's crazy. The ability is pretty good. I mean, that's not really what we're you know here for, but he's just Vegeta's good. Topo, we all know he drains key on Switch, and I'm not gonna talk about him a lot. You know, I'm not trying to make this video too long, but Topo drains key, endurance, locks in with his uh, ult. He's he's very very good. Oh, Topo is very good. He he can be rising rush fodder, and Jiren is just massive firepower. Now he's like the least likely to end up on that list, but he he's pretty good. He has a lot of firepower. Now this was not here a lot because you know he doesn't really do a lot, right? He does do good damage, right, with his uh, strike card at the end of it, but I don't really think he he doesn't have what it takes in my opinion to make it to the top of the list but Jiren also you know he gets um card draw speed on his main ability and he has blast armor on literally all his cards literally all his cards his green card is pretty op like if you're cornered right and someone like knows you don't have advantage and you have that green card waiting and you know they do a blast card you just go through and you lock them in and restore new and and you know you gain key all that but it's only twice or something but it's it's enough i think all right but uh yeah this is uh basically the, the glorified list this is what i think are the best units and you know they're all green right i mean most of them are green right green and red like come on man can we get some good 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 blue units bro and like good 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 purple units like i mean obviously there are some not that i'm thinking about right now but there are obviously good units I'm pretty sure I'm missing a lot of units, right, for like the top list, but for me, these are the units that stand out. Each of these units just speak out to me. Each of these units can dominate without a Zenkai, without uh, being an LF. They're just so good. They're, they're crazy. This is what I think is the best non-LF, non-Zenkai units in the game. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree. Let me know who you guys would put in this list and all those things. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like that like the video <laughs> subscribe and all those things and i'll see you guys in the next one peace stay tuned by the way for tomorrow's video i'm pretty sure i'll either be doing the best zenkais without nlf and or the best free to play units in the game those will be the last two i don't know in what order but those will be the last two right over the next two days or three days one or no two days when you're watching this th those are the videos i'll be releasing and that'll bring us to the end of our top list all right so yeah let me let you guys go i'll see you guys in the next one